you see that thing I when I lay on here like this it sort of well hello there we go um, if I turn the light if I turn the sketch off you can see kind of where we're where we're going right kind of see what's happening um, so I'm going to go parents on you I think this is my hat layer yeah there's nothing on it yet so let's go there I'm gonna lock the pants and I'm gonna lock the shirt because I don't want to accidentally hit it and draw on it and those of you who are just joining me I've done it before where I've done the sketch layer and then I've all, all realized like three quarters of the way through that I've been painting on the sketch layer so I've got all of this sort of you know sketchiness to it and I ended up I ended up inking it it was okay um, and it was just for myself so it didn't really matter um, but it was all right so all right here's the hat I'm just gonna come across really sort of fast and if you weren't on at the beginning I'll also tell you that oh, I don't like that but that's all right actually it's kind of right um, I'll make this hat up here I was saying before, one of the things I found with Wacom is if you're trying to, for me anyway, I'm 60 and my hands aren't what they used to be steady wise. But um, if you're like really trying to like sketch and follow a line, it's kind of difficult. I don't know how it is on this on the uh, on the sinks or whatever the sink views or whatever they call them, the big um, display tablets. You can actually be painting on what you're seeing. Um, I like this because I don't have to wear a glove. I can just paint. Um, but I get I digress yet again. Uh, where was I going with that? Oh, if you go faster, if you go faster with it, it tends to be easier to get straighter lines when you just when you're going across like this and not trying to like follow a line really carefully. I, that's just me. I don't know if it's true for everybody. Um, like I said, not a pro, but. Someone who has fun doing this anyway. So let's come out here. Yes, I know layer is locked, so I'm going to go to the other one. Uh, layer three is hat, and we'll just add that. Um, let's come back to the pants, unlock that, and we'll do. Oops, stop. We'll add the straps for the hat too, or for the pants, not for the hat. That would be silly. Um, so let's go here, make sure that's selected. We'll add this. We'll come down like this. I'll go back later and I'll just add buttons and stuff like that. So I don't really mind just doing this right now. You can always sort of fix up. It's one of the other things that sometimes that my kids at school don't get or don't understand is that, you know, you're not committed to, to anything. You can always go back and fix it later. So I want a pants layer. So that's good. So that's good. Um, that's done. Deselect. Um, we've got shoes to do. We've got a space to do. We've got this pitchforky thing to do. Um, I'm thinking this is going to be a little bit brown up here because um, I had a pitchfork once it was brown. <laughs> My dad got it to work. Oh, I don't like that. Um, my dad got it to work in the yard, and after you use it a bunch of times, it gets brown. So um, we may do that brown. Uh, let's make a pitchfork layer. I will tell you honestly, come in hand, and then we'll come in and we'll just grab that and do that real quick. So I'm basically just going to take the select tool and I'm come basically try to match this line here. So I'll come in here like this. Again, bumpy's okay. And we'll come up here like this, grab all of this. I'm gonna add some stuff to that because I messed it up. Um, I wanna come all the way up into here. I think like that. Um, that's okay. And then I'm gonna grab um, this. Hello. I can just drag this, I think. I, just want... I can, but I don't like that. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to come in here, grab my brush again, reset it. 
find the right color for that. You know what? I'm just I'll select it. Um, hit the eye. Hold down the eye. Okay. Hello. What are we doing here? It's not functioning for me here. Okay. Oh, because I'm in the brush tool. Yes, I know that. Oh, hello. So I'm going to grab, that should function if I grab the eye, there it goes. I'm going to grab this pitch fork color and then just come in here and drag it. Deselect. That looks okay. That's not great, but it looks okay. Um, how many times are you actually thrilled with the artwork that you're doing? I mean, I am a lot of times, but sometimes it's like, uh, no. Oh, wrong screen. Let's just come in. Let's head up. Ah, oh, that's okay. Again, we're not going for a painting here. We're just going for a cartoon character. So, um, oh, shirt. Yeah, back to the shirt. So let's do the shirt. Let's go here. Let's lock this. Lock this. We can go multi select here. We'll do this. And this. And this, and this, and this, and lock them. Lock them. It didn't do it for me. All right, so we're on the shirt. So now shirt, we're going to do try to do everything with shadows. So I'm going to turn the sketch back on so we can see where the lines are. I mean, I kind of know where they are, but so we're going to do that. Um, and then we're going to draw a little bit here for the neck. So we're going to come in and zoom in a little bit. Turn this layer on. And then just come down like this. And like this. And it's cloth, so it can be bumpy. We're going to make a dark color of the blue. Let's bump it down a little bit like that. You'd be amazed at how much just even a little bit like that does for you. Um, there's that. I'm going to ruffle this up a little bit. And here's we're going to do that. You know, we've got the alpha locked on, so it's not going to it's not going to draw anywhere except where I wanted to draw. So like that. And. So you zoom out, take a look at it. Oh, that's okay. I'm happy with it. I'll be all right with it. Um, we'll do the other side. We'll do the, we have to do the collar. So we'll zoom in on the collar. We'll do inside the shirt too. So we will get a little highlight around the edge. So we'll leave it like that. And then come in like this. I'm going to make it buttoned a little bit. So, so like that. Um, I'm going to hold down shift. So I'm going to do a bunch of this at the same time. I'm going to come in here like this. And make it the collar. Um, I'm going to do this collar here. So I'm going to open this up here. And then I'm also going to bring a line in this way, like this, and join that. It doesn't have to be flat because it's cloth and he's been working outside. I don't really think he cares. <laughs> so go back to our brush and we have the darker color and it should just hit what we want it to hit. I think I want to add a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit. Yeah, I like that. So we'll add a little bit over here, though. Um, we'll come in here and just come around this corner a little bit. And add a little bit there, too. So 
So there's that one. So now let's go over here. We'll do the sleeve. Um, just a little bit of it. Again, loving the alpha lot. So we'll come in. I'm going to go like this. I'm doing that because I want to show that little, like when you roll over a sleeve, you know, so it's got a little bit of a thing to it. Um, which absolutely made no sense. I understand that. And I'm going to get rid of this little bit up here because I don't want that. Um, let's do that. Let's do select. Um, I could do some wrinkles and stuff in this shirt over here too. Again, alpha locks on, so I'm just going to come in like this. Come over here. I'm going to add some wrinkles and bumps like this. And here. And leave that alone like this. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll clean that up too. I'll just come in here. I'll, I'll get rid of some of it like this so it's not all connected. That might work for me. Um, so I started to say at the very beginning, this is, um, uh oh. Shirt. See, I got, I got back up to the sketch somehow. So there it is. Do select. I must have done it for the other ones too. I did. They're up here on the sketch layer. See what I mean? That's what I did. Wah, wah. All right. Let's go ahead and fix that. Come back to the shirt. Lock the, lock the sketch layer again. Uh, turn them on. And we'll just go over those again. I wonder if I can just select them. Yep. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to grab the um, stuff I did on the sketch layer by accident. Because it happens sometimes. And I'm going to take the selection, go back to the shirt down here, and then paint it. And there's the right color. Uh, go back up to the sketch, grab this piece over here, go back to shirt, brush, and fix that too. So, um, the selections persist through all the layers. It just depends on what layer you're selecting. So, I could literally go into the skin layer, select all, and then create a new layer and paint something different on top of it if I want to. Um, so, that's that I think with shirt, I'm going to add the uh, neck layer to it here. And the neck go down inside like this. I don't think it looks straight, so I'll, I'll add this over here like this. Maybe I'll actually give them some shoulders. Maybe let's come in like this. I could do this on a new layer. I just really don't want to. <laughs> you understand, I think. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Maybe you're like, no, I want. I really want you to make that other layer. Uh, not gonna happen this time. Um, so there's his. Uh, what am I drawing on? I'm drawing on the layer. You know how I can tell? No, I'm not. I'm drawing on this. What am I doing here? Why is this being weird? Undo. I'm on the shirt layer. Turn alpha lock off. Don't like that. Yes. Yep, I'm trying to. Still doing the stream. I'm still streaming. I have two people watching right now. Um, why is this doing this? That's that. That's right. We're on this. Normal.
to the wrong ground. Not only do we want the next. Um, let's take this, take this stretch off and see if it looks better. Oh yeah, that's fine. Okay, that's good. I actually like that. I like that a lot. He's looking pretty good right now. Um, I'm just going to come into the shirt again, and I'm going to select just under the straps here, leaving the alpha on. Uh, I'm going to come under the straps here like this. Select that blue again, which is this one here. Something like that. Uh, it's okay. I'll add down here. And that's good. Uh, maybe do a little bit here. That works for me. Um, I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to use sweat stains because that's gross. <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll, I may do a couple little wrinkles along here like this on his shirt. Um, brush like that. So I think we're pretty good here. Um, he needs eyebrows maybe. Um, I'm going to do a couple buttons. Um, I could come in here like this and do some shadows between where the buttons are. Uh, and just darken them up a little just to give it a little bit of something there so it's not just a big blue splotch like that. Um, let's do some here on the pants. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about about the edges and stuff. We'll just take a big brush. We'll take the pants color. Um, this should work. Uh, so what I just did there is I just held the uh, um, I, I key down and it just does it and then it lets it go again. Um, I'm going to make this a little darker for the pants. I'm just going to come in and just gonna sort of see if this works or not. That works for me. That's, that's okay. Um, I'm going to do this one selection because I don't want it to go over the other pant leg. Just look like that. It's about as far in as I want it to go. Um, the danger with this is it always looks like sometimes they, like they wear their pants. <laughs> yeah. So that's not good either. Uh, so that's okay. That's okay. I think it's okay. Um, I'm going to come in and give us a little shadow under the strap. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just a little definition. I'm not going to draw a line. I'm just trying to do it with a little bit of shadow underneath like that to sort of show where the strap ends and it's overhanging. Select like that. Uh, I'm going to do the big uh, pocket here. So I'm just going to go and just sort of make a little crinkly line like this to show the opening. And then I'll probably come down the side. Um, just to come around the bottom like this only a little bit. And then, so this is interesting. This is, this is how John Klassen draws a lot. I don't know if you know John Klassen. He wrote um, some of my absolute favorite books. Um, this is not my hat. I want my hat back. Um, just a phenomenal, phenomenal writer and illustrator. Um, but I watched a whole video of stuff on him and he uses a lot of select tools. Like, there are a couple other ones that use selection like that. So there's that. All I have left, you know, I could do a little shadow on the pitchfork. Let's do that. Let's go to the pitchfork. The same thing with the select key. I'm going to turn on alpha lock. Come down like this. Come all the way down. It's an old beat up pitchfork, so I'm not really 
don't care if it's a little rough. Um, find a darker color. So go here, hit I, find that, come out, edit the color, come down a little darker, and just come down like this. I don't like that at all. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Undo, undo. Um, I want to go faster because I want it to have some texture to it. So there you go. So there's that. Now you see we have this little bit here we have to do. So we have to do pitchfork in hand. Um, same thing. I'll warn you ahead of time, I'm not going to do a really phenomenal background. I'm just going to do some colors behind it. Because I'm usually quick text. You can see behind me um, here, um, I've been doing um, a different illustration every day for the kids in my classes. Um, and uh, and just, there's text on it, so I don't really I don't really care if it's got a background like that. Um, oops! What did I forget to do? I forgot to turn on alpha lock. Fork in hand, alpha locks on. Why is it not showing up? Because it's not on that layer. Because I drew it on that layer. So how do we fix that? Well, we come in here like this. Take the option thing like this. Come along this stuff here. Move that part. And there it is. All right, so that's done. That's done. Um, take the pitchfork. I'm going to select the pitchfork. Oh, pitchfork. Select the pitchfork. And then we'll just um, make the brush a little smaller. Um, thanks to the two people who have been staying with me for like an hour. Um, this is pretty cool. Um, you're awesome. I'm assuming it's somebody I know on Facebook. <laughs> um, if it is, that's not what I want. That's not what I want because I can't speak and chew gum at the same time. Um, send me a note and tell me you were watching. Um, so now I'm going to come in like this and do. Oh, that's why am I painting them the same color? There we go. Just a little bit of an edge like that. It's kind of a beat up kind of metal sort of look to it, I guess. So I, I don't, it doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly straight or whatever, because he just just didn't pick it up at Wilton Hardware. He's used it a bit. So there's that. All right, so now down here, I'm gonna make a little, that's too big. Uh, go for the brush, take it down, down to the singles. I'm just gonna make the screw holes, like where it connects. And I'm gonna use the same brush, I'm gonna grab some gold. Um, I also wanna do a headband, or hat band, so we'll do that too. Um, maybe we'll do a shadow on the hat real quick too. So I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna grab a gold color up in here and make some brass buttons for him on his pants. Like that. I think overall you have those buttons on the side too, right? I thought you have buttons over here. I'm gonna do it a little darker over here on this side. Okay, so that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about the shadows in the neck and stuff like that. I do wanna do the hat real quick before I have to go up and watch the uh, news. Because my daughter works on the news. Uh, hat, and I'm gonna come across here. Like this, and make kind of a beat up headband like that. 
and I'm going to turn alpha lock on here too. And I think I'm going to do, he's got a lot of blue on, so let's make a blue headband. Maybe one that matches his pants. I think it's a good idea, right? Do this. Grab the brush. Grab the brush. And just go across like that. Then I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to darken that even more. And give it some shadow on this side like that. Just going to go like that. Uh, I'm going to take the hat itself. Select the hat, and that's good. Um, what color is blue? No, the hat color we haven't used lately. The hat. Uh, one of the things I'm, I'm really sort of working on is my uh, palette management. So. That's not dark enough, I don't think. I'll darken it a little bit. Let's go down to here. There we go. Um, if I wanted to, you notice the way I asked that question because that means I really kind of want to, but I don't know if I want to. Um, I can do the same thing to the bottom of the hat, so I can come along like this. Excuse me. I can come along right down the middle. And I'll clean it up a little bit. I'm going to move that. I'm going to move some of this over here, too. It's too much right there. Oops. Uh, that's okay. And then we'll take the brush and go over it again, and then we'll give it the underside of the hat like it curls over a little bit. Um, so there's that. Um, I've done nothing to the shoes, but I'm going to leave them alone. I might just give them a splatter of mud or something. So we'll go over here to the shoes, unlock it, we'll alpha lock it, and we'll just pick. Um, I'm going to go with uh, West Virginia clay. I know that color. It's about there. And I'm just going to get a really big brush. And I'm going to make it even bigger. And just hit it like that. That works for me. I think he's okay. I think I'm good. He doesn't have any eyebrows. Um, it's a point some eyebrows. So we'll grab that same color we did his uh, mouth and everything else with. Like that. Grab the brush. And take it down into the singles. And just, oh, we have to be on the right layer, it helps. That works. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. It's enough for Monday. So uh, now here's what I'm going to do. This is the scary part. So I could save this. I could save a copy of this, which I might do, but I'm not going to do it on this one. Uh, but I'm going to take all these layers. I'm going to merge them. So I'm going to come up here like this. I'm done with the drawing part of it. I am not going to ink this because I don't need to. Um, merge layers. Now we have everything. Okay, so now I can grab them, I can move them around, and everything goes with them. Okay, I'm going to move them off to the side. Background. So we're going to go background, and we're going to lock that so we don't mess with it. Um, we're going to grab some color for his the background. Do a sky color, and I'm going to do a lighter blue. Of sort of a different shade because I don't want to con conflict with his shirt. We do like a sunset color, sunrise color. That'd be cool. Let's see how that works. Okay. 
You know, it's really funny. You have a big monitor, and then you're like, "Oh, I need a bigger monitor." Well, yeah, you got a big monitor already. Um, so that's kind of all right. I don't mind that at all. Uh, and then I'm going to grab a green color for the grass under his feet. I'm going to make it in the yellow area. So like in here. I'm going to, on top of this, lay down some text. So I'm going to come here, make it white. Uh, Silver Steam, which is what I've been using. I'm going to say Mike, the farmer. I'm going to spell the correctly. Mike, the farmer. I'm going to try to spell farmer correctly as well. Mike the farmer. Now, if one of you people watching is from my class, you have to be sworn to secrecy not to tell anybody until tomorrow, all right? Um, it's the cool guys, I think it might be, who draw really well. You tell whoever you want to, okay. Um, character, come over here. And we'll call this food one coin. Okay. And it is Mike the Farmer Monday. And we can have the whole thing put down like that. I like that. It's like a little low-key. He kind of semi fades into the back of it. That's okay. I'm going to add a little shadow for him back here on the bottom. Um, just a little bit of a shadow underneath him. Um, just down here like this. Nothing special. Um, and then I'm going to sign it. And then I'm done. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, the brush I use for this um, is actually the one I like the most is just a regular brush up here. Um, this one, except smaller, not 175 pixels. That's good. Um, what I found with some of the Kyle brushes with the Wacom tablet, because I have a lot of Kyle brushes, um, the ones you get for free with Photoshop. Um, or with the Adobe Creative Cloud, is that the initial touch with the pen, and I'm sure it's a setting I mess up on, the initial touch with the pen prints, like stamps it, and then you draw. And if you come in really sort of slowly, you know, and get down into it, sometimes you can get it. But a lot of times you leave in these little dots all over the place with your line coming out of it. I don't like that at all. So um, sometimes the regular Photoshop brushes are okay. I need to put the dot over the eye right there. And that'll do it. I think I'm good. Oh, I'm going to fade the uh, text out a little bit. That's good. Um, so I hope you like it. Thanks for like putting up with me. Let me know how it worked out for you. Let me know if it actually died during it, if you're watching it through the whole time. Um, let me know how the sound was. Um, are my lips in sync with <laughs> What I'm saying, or does it look like a Japanese monster movie? Um, does this thing work for you guys, seeing it on the screen? Uh, anything. Uh, let me know. And, uh, you know, we'll catch you next time. All right? Um, I may do these every Sunday. I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right? I'm going to end the stream. And we will catch you next time.